Hey guys, in today's video, I am going to be testing out and reviewing the Urban Decay Brow Blade Pen. It's described to give the look of micro-bladed brows with one end being an ink stain and the other end being a waterproof pencil. I am super pumped to try this out and I have been dying to get my hands on it for so long. So if you're excited about this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and keep on watching. Okay, so Urban Decay have come out with this really cool product. This is the Brow Blade. One end has a micro brow pencil and the other end is a brush tip applicator. And this allows you to draw really precise hair-like strokes. It comes in four shades. I picked up brown sugar and it was 40 Australian dollars from the Mecca Maxima website. I would say that this is one of a kind on the market. We've all seen micro brow pencils and there is brush tip applicators also available, but to combine them into one, I just think was a genius idea. Now I have been so excited to try this out because it looks similar to the MAC Shape and Shade, which I have absolutely fallen head over heels in love with. With the MAC Shape and Shade, one end has the brush tip for drawing on the hair like strokes, but then the other end has this like spongy powder application, applicator, applicator. Oh my God, just what the heck? <laughs> now I never really used this end. I found that the sponge was a little bit too thick and because my brows are very sparse, I like to be precise. So what I always do is go in with a brow pencil and then I go over the top with the MAC Shape and Shade. So really the Urban Decay are the two things in one that I really want and that I really use. All right, so here are some swatches of the two sides. The bottom one here is the brush and then the top swatch is the pencil. Now I just wanna compare it to the Shape and Shade. This is in the shade Fling. All right, so this one down here is the MAC Shape and Shade. The Urban Decay does look a lot warmer and I do like a cool toned brow, so we'll see. Also a difference between the two, the MAC Shape and Shade brush is a bit longer. So it looks like it would be a bit more flexible. All right, so I'm just going to brush my brows up with a spoolie. I do have a little bit of tint left in my brows, but they're definitely hairy. They need another wax. All right, so in with the pencil, I'm going to draw a line underneath and then on top. All right, so far it's gliding on very easily. So then in with the brush side, I'm just going to do small flicks all throughout my brow to get those hair like strokes. All right, so I feel like the colors on both ends match. I thought there was going to be a little bit of a difference from my swatches here, but overall the color looks good. It's not too warm either, thank God. I feel like the felt tip was really nice. It was flexible enough that you can get that nice flick and you only need to put a small amount of pressure and it's more than enough to get the right amount of ink out. Does that make sense? I think that that brow looks really natural. I like it, I'll give you a close up. So you can see here where I've done a few of the strokes and then I've also added some up in the arch here where I am a bit more sparse on the hairs. So this is my before brow. Let's go ahead and do the other one. This is as far as my camera zooms in. So I'll just try and get a little bit closer to it just so you can see a bit better. All right, so again with the spoolie.
Okay, I really enjoy this pencil. I like that it is a super, super fine tip. So you can be really precise and depending on how much pressure you put on is how much color payoff you're going to get. So in the front of my brow here, I was just very, very lightly drawing upwards. And as you can see, the color is quite faint. Whereas on the tail here, where I do have quite a lot to fill in, I was pressing a little bit harder and obviously the color is darker there. Now for the ink side, I'm just going to lightly spoolie the front here because you can see the lines pretty much. So I just want to blend those out a bit. There we go. I feel like that looks a bit more natural. All right, now I'm going to just clean up my brows with some concealer. Okay, so this is what my brows look like complete. I do usually like to go in with a brow gel as well. So I'm just going to quickly run this one through. It's the Essence Make Me Brow. Well, I don't know about you, but I think that my brows look pretty good and I am super impressed with this product. It literally did everything I wanted it to do. All right, I'm just going to finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be back to chat to you about the rest of my thoughts and let you know if I would recommend this product. So overall, I really enjoyed using this product. The shade match was good. It was easy to use and I like the end result of my brows. Is it better than the MAC Shape and Shade? Well, because the other end is a pencil and that is what I want, I would definitely pick up the Urban Decay over the MAC Shape and Shade. And that does hurt me to say because I really, really loved the MAC product, but I don't get any use out of the sponge tip end, so why would I spend my money on it? I'm kind of just wasting my money, really. All right, well, that is all from me today. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you have any other questions, just leave me a comment down below. If you're new to my channel, then I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing, and if you aren't already, make sure you come follow me over on Instagram. I hope you are all having a fabulous day wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye.